Hey friends, I am combining yahoos and boos with speed reviews because I have way too much products here to show you. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna start on a sad note. This is Leafinity Perfect Facial Cleansing Oil. This was sent to me. I literally used this one time and it was horrible because it hurt my eyes so bad. It might actually take off makeup really well, but if this is going to be an oil that I'm taking my eye makeup off, it can't hurt my eyes. And this stung my eyes so badly, I never used it again. So this is definitely a boo. Sorry to start out on a negative note. On a positive note, Clean It Zero. You guys heard me talk about it in my last empties. I went and got the massive one. I believe that this has replaced my Clinique's Take the Day Off. The price point is so much better. You get so much more for a lower price point. It takes my makeup off well. It doesn't leave a residue. I believe there is another one that is, I guess, yellow color that is moisturizing. I didn't see that, but I'm gonna try that one next. I love this. Another Yahoo is the Eucerin, what is it called? Urea Repair. This has made my skin so moisturized. I heard about it on Dr. Dre, is that how you say her name? Dre, yes. She advocated for it. She said it was a very good product for people who have really dry skin, which I have. And this has been a wonderful moisturizer. And I got it on Amazon. I have not looked other places to see where it is, but I will, and I will hopefully link a couple below. But this, oh my goodness, such a good moisturizer. This is the Elizabeth Arden Lip advanced lip fix cream. This is something you're supposed to put around on your lips and then go a little bit over your lips. And then when you put lipstick on, it's supposed to make it so that it fixes there and it won't do any kind of feathering of your lipstick. I saw no difference. I, I literally saw nothing. It just felt like another step and I just didn't think it worked. I have been using this for about a month now and I love it. This is the T3 Aero, oh, I forgot what it's called, Air something. <laughs> it comes with two attachments, this one and more of a flat paddle. I'll be honest with you, I really have not used the other one very much. This thing makes volumes in my hair. Obviously, I didn't use it today. I love how easy it is, you just push it turn, take it off. There's a little button here. And then when you need to put it back on, it goes into place and it clicks and it's just easy. It's hot, but it's not too hot. It's a good size for my hair. I don't have really long hair. My hair is about to my shoulders. It just works well. Another thing I've been using to get volume is this Ava NYC. It is the Lift Off Voluming and thickening mist. First off, it's a good spray. It smells nice. It's easy to just lift up my hair, spray those roots, lift up more, spray those roots. It just is easy. It's not too sticky, so I feel like my hair is like hard to push, you know, pull the brush through, but it does give me great volume. This combined with the T3, hello. Okay, I have a love-hate relationship with dry shampoo. I need it sometimes, but I'm not a huge fan of usually the smell. Even if the smell is a good smell, I just don't like to have a huge smell. So when I saw this, it was Redken Invisible Dry Shampoo Unscented. I love being able to use something and then still wear a perfume and feel like the two aren't going against each other. Okay, future Bobby here. <laughs> I am editing this video that you're watching right now and I'm going to change my mind on that dry shampoo. It does have no smell, but I don't think it works well. When I filmed this, I'd used it for one day. It worked great just that one day and I thought it was great. That's why it was a speed review. But after using it several days in a row, because I wash my hair every three days, so I'll, I'll use dry shampoo at least two days in a row, it did not keep my hair from getting greasy. 
so I don't actually recommend it. It's actually a boo. All right, let's talk about a boo. A boo that I'm kind of very disappointed about. This is the second box I've gotten of Living Better. It's called livingbetter50.com for women with spirit. And I get it from Amazon and I decided to try it out for a couple months and I am discontinuing this subscription. I just don't think it's worth it. This is my latest one. Let me show you what's in it. There's one thing I actually do like and it is this. It is the Pella Pierre Cosmetics Rocky Road Eyeshadow Palette, 35 colors. It really is a beautiful palette. So I do like this. This was good. This was the exception <laughs> because the other things I got in this are just, oops, are just not worth it. They had micellar cleansing water. I hate micellar water to cleanse. I just, I don't like it. My skin doesn't like it. I don't want to use it. So I, I'm really not going to be using this. This is bamboo charcoal detoxifying sleeping mask from Shea Moisture. I'm not going to be using that. That's not something I'm interested in. Somebody else might, but just, it's just not me. This is okay. Bella Pierre Precious Diamonds Hand and Body Lotion. It's a hand lotion. I mean, that's fine. No smell. I don't know if it's a very good one. I mean, a hand lotion is a hand lotion, <laughs> but it's okay. This is the two that I'm just like, why? <laughs> why would you send this? These are Glitter is My Favorite Color for Hair, Face, and Body. They sent me two. A pink one and a silver one. Why? Predominantly women who are 50 plus don't want glitter in our hair and our body. I mean, some do. I'm not passing judgment here. <laughs> it's fine if you want to do it. But I don't know. I just, I would never use these. Not in a million years. The last thing is interesting. It's a jelly sponge. It blends and applies without absorbing makeup. Oh, it feels, okay, I'm not gonna lie, but it kind of looks, <laughs> are you here with me, girls? <laughs> it kind of looks like a breast implant. Well, a very flat one. <laughs> so I guess you really wouldn't want that. But it just kind of looks like that. It's, uh, okay, so. <laughs> No. So I've decided I'm discontinuing this box. That's what was in it. It's not worth it to me to have 40 bucks of a, a couple things of one thing I like. Shoes and slippers. First is a boo slippers. I got these Vionic slippers. I was just going to say from Vionic. I got these slippers from Vionic because Vionic has such a great support. Here's the problem. These hurt. This support is so, it's like rock. Like, I don't, I don't understand. It literally hurts my feet. There's no give to this at all. And I'm so disappointed and you know, I paid a lot for these. So yeah, these are just not a good, they're not comfortable. And if anything should be comfortable, it should be your slippers. But Vionic did come through with, I got these. I just think these are so stinking cute. They're a little bit more shiny than I would want. The back is not shiny at all. So I would really like this in a complete black, non-shiny. I don't know if they make, I know they make a pink version of this. These are the most comfortable shoes. Oh my goodness, I can wear these all day. I think they're my favorite favorite and comfort of my Vionic shoes. And they're just, they're just cute, right? Cute. A makeup, because I know some of you are here just for the makeup. Okay, a mascara that was such a disappointment. It is the number seven, the full 350, that looks like a three, the full 360 waterproof. Well, first off, I did a mistake. How many times have you guys done this? You want black and you get home and you start putting it on. You're like, okay, this is black brown. Yep, I did that. Rookie mistake. I forgot to look at the actual color. So I did not like the color, obviously. 
The brush is exactly the kind of brush I would normally like, so that's okay. But this literally did not deposit mascara on my mas on my lashes. I kept running it through thinking, okay, it's going to get better. There's going to be more coming out. And they're just, it never did. And it was so frustrating. So this is going in the garbage. This was a huge disappointment. This is something I have had for a while. This is the BK Beauty travel pouch or I don't know what it's called, travel something. And it's beautiful. I, they were, they sent this to me. The thing I want to show you is something that I think you may want to try. If you are like me and you struggle with being able to see your eyes, like if you're going to use, let me grab this, if you're going to use a mirror where it's close up. So I have the 10 times zoom mirror here. If I want to see it, I have to look that close in order to see it. Anything farther away and it gets distorted. So I have to look close. The problem with a normal brush is that it's long and I have to get this close and now I'm hitting this. So I highly recommend getting this because in it is three brushes that are shorter. So here's the normal length of a brush and here's the shorter ones. So what these do is you get very close and because they're short oh i have mascara right there so this makes it so that i can get really close and it's not hitting because they're shorter so i actually contacted bk beauty and i said please please make the rest of your line especially the angie ones because they're my favorite for doing eyeshadow make them shorter so that I can get close up and see them for my over 50 eyes. So if you saw my foundation review of the number seven Restore and Renew, this is their new foundation, you will know this is my next go-to foundation. It's what I'm wearing today. I love this foundation. I was just talking about the BK Beauty brushes. I want them shorter, but I also wanted to point out that I've stopped using, not stopped, but I've changed to using for my foundation, the BK Beauty 106 brush. I noticed that Lisa J on, on her channel, and she's the founder of BK Beauty, always uses the 106. And I was like, why does she always use that instead of the 101, which is what I've been using for months and months. I love this brush. So I decided to give this one a try and see if I liked it. I've been using this one to do like cream blushes or cream contours because it works really well for that because it's a foundation brush. Oh my word, I love it for foundation. I think it's because my features are pretty small. My face is a pretty small face and it just for me, gets into those crevices. It works out well. I can hold it easier. I don't know why. Maybe because it's smaller. I don't know. But it is my new favorite foundation brush. See, I told you guys there was a lot. <laughs> That's why I needed to do it fast. Okay, I have been using, this is called the Master Eye Prep and Set in the color medium. I've had this for a while and I did not like it. In fact, I almost decluttered this. I, I think I'm okay with it now. You will see if you look at it, what I did to it. It got really, really crusty. And so I actually took a knife, a butter knife, and scraped off a layer of it because it wasn't creamy anymore. It just literally felt dry. I used it today and I really, really like it. After getting that layer on, now I'm gonna see if it does harden. This is, so this is what you would use to prep your eyes. So basically an eye primer. I used the darker one. And then this right here is setting it. So it gets your eyes ready for eyeshadow or it just gets your eyes all one color and you can just leave it at that. Just such a pretty look as long as it stays nice like this. If it gets dry again, I will let you guys know. On my eyes for eyeshadow today, which it's pretty subtle, it's not really strong, but I really like the look. I used the Kaja, I think it's called Ginger Spice. What's it called? 
spiced ginger. <laughs> Number 10. So this is a trio. The top one is what I used for all over. The bottom one I used on my corner and just up into my crease a little bit. And then the middle one I used, it's, it's a shimmer. That one I used for just on my lid. And I really like this one. I think it's pretty. I did do a kitten eye, as you can see, and I used the Tarte Quick Stick. This on one hand has a, it has a liner that's very, very creamy. It just goes on so easily. So I blended that out, put a little bit on, blended it out. And then on the top of it, on the other side of this, it, it has this, it has like a shimmer and it's just so pretty. I put that just a little bit right underneath my brow, not a ton, and then I kind of just blended it all together and I just really like the look. I'm loving both of these. They are yahoos. Abu <laughs> is something I've had for a while and it just saddens me. I may keep it because it does have a shadow in it. Laura Geller has this, I don't know what it's called. It is called double shot and it's in espresso the bottom of it is kind of like the same thing as the makeup by mario it's got a cream in there and you can see i tried to make this one better too this one is just so dry like it's just so like i literally think yep it's that thick that it could hold my my finger in there and i put it on let me see if i can find a spot here we go right there and it's just really hard, like it's thick, but it's just really hard to blend. I will say it does not come off very easily, but I literally can't, it pulls my eyes and my eyes do not need pulling. So for that, it's just not worth it. Now on the other side, it does have this powder. I don't, I guess that's the espresso. And yeah, I mean, that's kind of pretty. So maybe I'll use it for that, but I'm not going to use the other thing. It's just so hard. If you want to see a full review of this foundation, I am going to link that one right here. I will see you maybe in that one or another one. God bless.